What is up everybody? It's Marnix here. I am, um, I do basically everything that's not programming at Bite Me Games, um, which is something that this video will definitely show to you, as today we'll be walking you through um, basically a start to finish of a come along, follow behind the scenes of what we do in order to create a YouTube video here at Bite Me Games for you to watch. Um, so yeah, I'll be taking you through the full step by step, starting with how we write the script, how we record, how we edit, thumbnail, all of that, and then upload it. So be sure to stick around the entire video. Uh, there should be some timestamps as well. For some context, this video should be uploaded the 20th of May, if everything goes right. And before that, three videos have uploaded. Um, the devlog number three, uh, writing tests in Unity, and um, to the artist workflow. Those are the three ones that we should have planned normally, with its whole list. Uh, I'll see maybe I can show it without spoiling too much of the future of all the video ideas we have with a schedule of when we want to release everything. Um, in today's video, we'll be going behind the scenes of devlog number three, as well as um, the 2D artist workflow. Now, the first part of every video, once we have the idea, for example, for the devlog, we know that that's a monthly thing, or for the 2D artist workflow, is we start by creating a script. Generally, I do most of the scripts, unless it's something like technology specific or something that I simply don't have the experience with as much, like for example, unit testing or the 2D artist workflow. Um, but I'm still quite heavily involved in those. So I write the scripts on my own. Generally, whenever I have time, I start type out some words uh, and get a script ready. Then we go over that script either with uh, just me. If I have to host the video as well, generally I just go over it quickly with either Thomas or William just to make sure that there's nothing too bad with it. If it's written by someone else or someone else will be also presenting with me, like for example with the devlog, we actually schedule um, a session in our Discord where we just uh, hang out and I share my screen and we go over to all of the scripts together make sure that everyone knows what they're going to say, uh, if they all agree with what's going to be said, and so on. So that's the main part, and this can actually sometimes take either very little time or honestly quite a long time, because sometimes it's just hard to write about certain topics or it just doesn't come really the inspiration. But yeah, once we have the script, we're pretty much ready to start recording. So generally we record in person, always with multiple people, ideally me, Thomas, Jamie and William. Sometimes Jamie can't join, sometimes William can't join. Um, generally, if it's not me and Thomas at least, we don't record. Um, the first videos we made, I record on my own. It was miserable, my camera was focus failing the entire time. There was just too much to go on, so we don't do that anymore. We just always at least two people now. Um, so yeah, I think the next part will be about me just vlogging a bit uh, the recording day because I think that's the most interesting part as well. And um, yeah, hope you enjoy the rest of the vlog. Um, Hi everyone. So it's currently Sunday morning and I am wearing my pack me shirt. Um, and I just showered and we're about to, well, we're leaving soon to record the devlog video as well as one other video, which is the day in the life of a 2D graphic artist. And for that, we have a problem. Um, William is unable to bring his drawing tablet. So I need to disassemble this screen because it's actually an XP Pen 24 that is on like a flexible mount. And I need to bring that with me so we can get some B-roll shots of him because otherwise we're like quite dumb. So I get to still disassemble that. Then I get to pack up all the filming equipment in my car and then it's basically off to the office. So yeah. Follow along, I guess. So this is all the stuff once we've packed in the car that I'll be bringing along with me. So we have food, very important, because we'll be shooting for about three or four hours and it'll be over lunch and I can't have anyone being hungry. Back there, I don't know if you can see it, is the XP pan, my backpack with laptop and random cables and stuff like that, camera, tripod, and then this is like my box of recording equipment which has like uh, my gimbal microphones key lighting and a bunch of other stuff and yeah i feel like we've really improved how much uh, we need to bring because our first video was just shot on 
the this microphone, the gimbal, and the camera. And now suddenly, I mean, I've improved a lot. And more equipment means better footage, hopefully. So yeah, let's go and uh, meet the boys. Ending of our country. William, what do you think about the, the universe and collapsing upon us? Uh, isn't it already doing that? <laughs> Recording gang. So here you can see we're setting up uh, the filming equipment. This is going to be our scene. William is the first host for our video. And then, yeah, we have the camera here. We still need to set up auto and stuff like that, but it should be fine. So we have um, the one issue is that we're not great at remembering our script so we usually have this uh, teleprompter set up with like my laptop with a script and then a second screen to also control that teleprompter as well but i think we're pretty much done to start recording now uh, we have everything set up we have our shot angled come and take a look you can see also it's been william you moved because the framing is off now but okay we can still fix that um, but yeah so Time to record pretty much soon. First things first, I'm far from a qualified artist, but I'll do my best to show you that even a basic understanding of 2D art can help a team or even a solo dev make a work more easy. POV, you're a future employee at Bite Me Games recording the devlog. You're sitting right next to your fabulous CEO. So as you can see, we finished recording our devlog and now the team is very busy with... Come on, give us a bullseye. Ah. What did you think of today's recording session, Thomas? Um, the catering was great, good food. Uh, William did some amazing work on his videos, so I'm excited to see the results of his videos. <laughs> so yeah, I'm, uh, I'm very happy with the results. Hi everyone, Marnix here. I'm just checking in because I just returned back home from recording. So currently it's almost 6 p.m. Uh, I basically left the house at about 10 a.m. So it was quite a long day, uh, but the thing is we're quite productive. We recorded two videos. Uh, so we recorded the devlog and as well as the 2D art. Then I also recorded a lot of B-roll. So both B-roll for uh, the videos, as well as, you know, just some generic B-roll of like, them, uh, Thomas and William walking or talking to each other or explaining something, for example, because I feel like it can really also add some more value to uh, the videos that we make. Because now it's just some generic uh, B roll, but I feel like by adding our own personal touch, it can really give it uh, some more value. So, what I'm basically doing now is I'm at my editing PC and I'm currently uh, importing the footage. So, the day of shooting is about 50 60 gigabytes of footage that I take down SD card to my laptop so I already like get a copy right there when we're recording in the office so we can check like oh is focus right is audio right so we can easily still redo something then now it goes from my laptop to my external SSD which then goes to my um, main editing PC where I then open up Premiere and edit the videos so the first thing I do when I edit the video is I go for a rough cut which is basically just cutting out all of the parts where someone messes up or we wait a bit between saying two parts to make it feel like one long conversation and it's basically the a-roll you see uh this about takes like an hour hour and a half. yeah maybe an hour or so and then once i have the rough cut i usually take a break because i need it after that and then what i do is i go through the entire video again multiple times and every time i keep adding a roll a uh, b-roll so that's footage of the game or whatever else we're talking about, some screenshots or anything. I overlay those and then if I do that enough times and I feel like, okay, this is a good video now, 
Um, yeah, and we get to the next step where I'll explain it to you further. But first, I need to edit a lot of footage. So I guess there's going to be a time lapse now of that. Uh, who knows? Let's just see what I decide to do. It's my video after all. So hey. Hi, so it's me again. I've been working on the editing. It's done. Great. Video is done. So what do I do now? Well, two more things. First, for every video, I have to create a thumbnail. Uh, I do that myself in Photoshop. Uh, there should be some B-roll of it right now, so you should be seeing me, I guess. Um, but generally, they're not that complicated. It's like partially, uh, it's a half and half division. One half is someone from the video uh, explaining it or just giving like a human picture with a diagonal slash. And then the other side is a picture or like a screenshot of something relevant to the video and then just the overlay text on that. If you've never noticed it before, um, you can go ahead to scroll to our previous videos. All videos have this same um, style of thumbnail at this point. Um, secondly, and this is more specific to the devlog, is that there's a blog post that has to be made. Uh, generally, I don't know if I'll have any b-roll of this. Maybe I do. Um, this, I just write wherever I am and I have my laptop um, and I start working on it. It's a simple WordPress site, so I can just open the site, start typing if I have time and then um, close it back off again. So yeah, once those two things are done, I upload a first version of the video to YouTube and I share this with the rest of the ByteMe team uh, so they can give their feedback. Um, and then once they've had given their feedback, in the beginning I had to rework a lot of things. By now they've more accepted my editing style and usually there aren't that many big remarks anymore. Maybe there's somewhere that there's a glitch with rendering or whatever. And then I upload it to YouTube, I schedule it and it's done. And then I can forget about it, video gets uploaded. Uh, William and Thomas, they take care of the Twitter stuff um, and my day, basically my job of the day is done. So yeah, I hope this gave you a bit more of an insight into how it works around here when we create a video, like what are all the steps required for you to see that video in the end, how much work you put into it and just in general the preparations. If this interests you, uh, more of this behind the scenes, anyway, if you're here, just please go. The, you know you know the bell the subscribe the like the thumbs up really helps us out and you also win because you'll be notified whenever that we upload a new video um so yeah thanks for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video